Hi everyone, it's me David, and I thought I'd do another soap video today because I just received an order from metaphysicalfarms.com to make a custom, uh, some custom bars of soap. And it's a milk-based soap, so it's a little bit different than the one, the previous videos that I did. Now we need to go through our checklist to make sure that we've got all of our equipment ready for making the soap at hand so that we don't have to be running around and trying to find anything. And again, the first thing we need, we need our safety goggles and our safety gloves because we will be working with the lye. Uh, we need to make sure that we've got our lye here ready. Um, we also want to make sure we've got cups for the lye and then for the oil that we'll be working with. We need the containers for those different products there. We'll also need um, the various oils that we'll be using and so this uh, soap actually is going to have just the standard three uh, types of oils for a good bar of soap. The palm oil, the coconut oil, and then the soybean oil. Um, we're also going to be including some uh, cocoa butter for the super fatting. We'll also be putting vitamin E in as well as some lavender flowers and then a peach coloring to the soap. So let's go ahead and get started. So the first oil that we're going to be working with is the coconut oil and um, make sure you have your pen and paper so you can write down the amounts that you've got and we've got 10.2 ounces of the coconut oil. So the next oil that we're going to be using is the palm oil and we're going to try and get that as close as we can to 10 ounces as well. So we've got 10.6 ounces of the palm oil. And now we just need the soybean oil. So we've got 13.3 ounces of the soybean oil. Okay, so now that we've got all of our oil together, um, we'll just need to go to metaphysicalfarms.com and figure out the amount of lye and the amount of liquid that we're going to need for this recipe. Okay, and so I figured out that we need to have at least uh, 11 to 15 ounces of the liquid that we're going to use. Now, because milk has a lot of sugar in it, the sugar can caramelize when we add the lye to the liquid. And so what I like to do to minimize the amount of caramelization is to actually add the lye to just plain water, let it cool down a little bit, and then add that water to the milk solution. And so what we're going to do is we're actually going to be using seven ounces of water and mixing the lye into that and then uh, adding eight, adding that to eight ounces of, uh, of actually heavy whipping cream is what we'll be using for the, the milk product. What we'll also need to do is measure out 5.6 ounces of lye but we'll do that last when we have all of the liquids ready and set. So let's go ahead and measure out um, what we'll need is uh, seven or eight ounces of just plain water in. Um, I like to put it in this Pyrex cup and then we'll add that the milk to this larger um, container right here where we'll be finally putting the solution. Now one warning about glass. Um, if, you, you, if you're making large batches uh, the glass may break because of the heat that you're producing by uh, combining the lye and then the water. Um, with the small batches that I'm using, um, I'm not too worried about that, but if you are making larger batches, it could be a concern, and so you may wish to use a different type of container. Okay, so we've got our liquids all measured out, and so what we need to do right now is measure out the lye. Okay, and so we need 5.6 ounces of the lye. Okay, we've got 5.6 ounces of the lye, and we're just going to have to add that into the water. We fully incorporated the lye into the water and now we'll actually need to let it cool down because it's um, increased the temperature of the water quite substantially. So we'll go ahead and take its temperature and it's approximately 150 degrees right now. And so we don't want to add that to the milk just yet. It's a little bit too hot for the milk. 
and it would actually caramelize the sugar in the uh, in the milk there. And so what we'll do is we'll go ahead and let this cool down to about um, a 120 degrees because then when we add it to the milk it'll cool it down even more and it'll actually approach the 100 degree range that we're looking for. So while we're waiting for this to cool down we can actually go ahead and heat up our oils. Okay, the lye and water have cooled down now so we're going to go ahead and add it to our whipping cream. Okay, we've added the lye to the milk and it has started to saponify the fat in the milk already and so we'll just go ahead and add that to the uh, oil right now. So we're pretty much to trace right now and so what we'll want to do is add our coloring and also our additives so our vitamin E as well as um, our super fatting oil which we're using uh, which is uh, cocoa butter and um, we're adding 1.6 ounces of the cocoa butter. So we have added the coloring, the vitamin E, as well as the super fat, super fatting the cocoa butter. Uh, the next thing we want to do is add our fragrance, which is going to be a lotus blossom fragrance. Just add that in here. And the final thing that we're going to be adding to this soap are some lavender flowers. And so these are just uh, dried lavender flowers and we'll just add them to the soap. Okay, and we'll give it one last mix with the stick blender. Okay, so we have a good trace going with our soap. So all we need now is our mold. And we will pour this into our mold here. We'll just even this out into the corners. It looks good. And then we just need to cover it up and let it sit for two or three days to let it uh, solidify and then uh, we can start cutting it and letting it dry.